Hi, I'm Chris. I'm an Eagle Scout at Troop 47 Westwood, New Jersey. And I'm Kevin. I'm an Eagle Scout also of Westwood Troop 47. Today we're going to show you how to do aluminum foil cooking, but we're going to start off with Chris working with corn. All right, first you need your tin foil. You need your corn, your butter knife, and your butter. Now it's pretty easy. You just take a bit of butter and just put it around the corn. Make sure you put it evenly throughout the corn. You don't want too much in one area. All right, and you're gonna wrap it up in tin foil. To wrap it up, just put both ends together up like this. Fold it together. And you're gonna fold both, end, both ends like this. All right, you're gonna put it in your cooler and we'll be ready for cooking tomorrow. And that's how you make corn on the cob. Now we're going to work on baking a potato. First, we're gonna grab a piece of aluminum foil, smaller than the corn on the cob. Then we're going to grab a potato and grab either a fork or a pocket knife. Today, I'll use a fork. We're gonna puncture this potato in several spots all the way around, so one right here. Turn it around a little bit, find another spot right here, and one more over here. Now that it's punctured in several spots, you're going to wrap it in the same way you wrap the corn. So again, putting it right in the center, you're going to fold over the top, kind of like a tent, and roll it down one, two times. Taking the edges, we're just going to fold it in, and fold in the other edge, and again, place it right into the cooler. What's gonna happen with this potato is we're going to put it under the coals for about 15 minutes tomorrow just to bake it. That's how you bake a potato. All right, we're gonna make baked fish this time. It's always a good idea to double wrap your food for camp. All right, first you're gonna take your tilapia Place it on the tin foil. You can use any type of fish for this, trout, bass, snapper. Now we're gonna take our sliced onions and just put it over the fish. And then we're gonna take a lemon slice and just put it on top. You can either just squeeze lemon juice on it or you can just put it like this. All right, then we're gonna wrap it up. You don't have to use a tin foil this long. I would that long. And then we're gonna wrap it again. This. And we're going to put it in the cooler. For this fish, you want to bake it for three to five minutes each side. For a larger fish, you want 10 minutes on each side. All right, so next we're going to work on the stew. So you can use either beef, as seen here, or chicken. You could also use turkey. And if you're vegetarian, you could just leave out the meat. So the ingredients we're going to start with is some cut off beef in this case, potato, which we thin sliced already, same with onion, which we thin sliced, and carrots. We're also going to use some salt and pepper, as well as a dab of water. So to start out, we're going to take some aluminum foil. So again, we're going to do two pieces of aluminum foil to prevent leakage. And just for this demonstration, I'm going to do two sets of this stew at a time. So first, we're going to take about four pieces of meat for each one. So here's one, two, three, four. 
and do the same for the adjacent stew. Again, this will serve two people. We're going to put a handful of potatoes in, about the same amount as the meat shown here in both packages, as well as a handful of carrots. Again, trying to make it about equal to the amount of meat and potato available. Same with the onions. Again, you can adjust it to your own preferences. If you like onions a lot, you put a little more onions. If you don't, then don't. Oops. We're going to just sprinkle a little bit of salt right on both and a little bit of pepper. And add a, a teaspoon or two of water. So I'm just going to eye it with this little device. There's a little bit of water, a little bit here. Again, we're going to wrap it the same way we wrapped everything else. So again, folding it like a tent, rolling it down a few times, and folding the edges over. Again. Now, Tomorrow, when we're going to cook this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the coals for 20 minutes, making sure you flip it over at least once for each of these packages. Now, each of these packets serves one person, so this will feed two people. But again, if you have a trip of six, make six of these. Once I just finish wrapping this up, we're going to just put it right into the cooler. And there you have two packages of beef stew for tomorrow. All right, we're gonna make tinfoil chicken this time. Put our chicken on the tinfoil. Just put a little bit of butter on it. All right, now just salt it lightly. and wrap it up. Remember to always double wrap your food for camping. All right, and it's ready for tomorrow. When you're cooking the chicken, Remember to place it on coal for 20 minutes, turning it about two or three times each side. Next, we're going to work on making a hamburger. Now, you can either use the patty that is pre-made or four ounces of ground beef shaped into a patty. So to start, we're going to grab aluminum foil again. It's heavy duty aluminum foil. And we're going to take the patty and put it right in the center. Now, we're going to need potato, onion, as well as carrots. We pre-cut them into thin slices just so it's a little quicker. So we're just going to start by adding some potato on top, kind of spreading it a little evenly. Same with the carrots. And finally, the onion. Again, adjust to how much you want of the onion. If you really love onion, add some more. If you don't, add some less. Afterwards, I'm going to wipe my hands on this napkin next to me and pour some salt and pepper on the, the hamburger. We're going to wrap it like we had in the past, again by folding it over like a tent and rolling it down. And then taking the edge and rolling it down too, a few times. Again, we're doing the double wrap just to prevent leakage because we're putting this all in the same cooler. Now, when you're going to cook this, you're going to put it right on top of the coals for about seven or eight minutes on one side. Then you're going to flip it over and put it on seven to eight minutes on the other side so it's cooked through evenly. But for right now, we're just going to take this and put it into the cooler to prepare for the next day. So that's how you're going to make the hamburger.
All right, now we're gonna make baked fruit for dessert. First, you're gonna need your cored apple. Here, it's already cored. All right, you're gonna put some butter inside. You don't have to put in this much. All right, we're gonna sprinkle some cinnamon in it. Some brown sugar. and some raisins. Stuff it in like that. All right, now just wrap it up. All right, and it's ready for dessert tomorrow. You're gonna to wanna to bake the apple in the coals for 30 minutes. Yesterday we prepared the food. Today we brought Mike along to help us uh, cook the food and eat it as well. So we've already prepared the coal bed with some hot white coals. They've been cooking for about 30 minutes. First we're going to take some apple and put it on the coals because that one takes the longest. Again, we're going to put the apple in for about 30 minutes right on top of the hot coals. Next, Chris is grabbing some of the beef stew. That's going to take about 20 minutes, and we're gonna turn it over two to five times uh, to make sure it's cooked evenly throughout. Chris is going to put on the other beef stew as well. What we also did is we made sure all the ends were rolled up so none of the steam would be lost and there would be no food leaking. Next, we're grabbing some chicken. The chicken, again, like the beef stew, is going to go on for about 20 minutes and be turned over two to five times. We have about three pieces of chicken here, so we're gonna put on all three. Again, it's important to use tongs because it is a hot coal bed. Another useful tip is to make sure you label the food so you know what you're eating. Next, we're gonna grab the hamburger. The hamburger is going to go on for about 15 minutes total. It's going to be about seven to eight minutes a side. So you only have to flip it over once. So next we're gonna put on a baked potato. For the potato, we're going to take about 15 minutes, but we do have to bury it in the coals. Now, right now, Mike is digging a hole in the coals and then putting the potato right inside. Again, make sure you use a tool such as a shovel to make sure you don't burn yourself on the hot coals. So it's been about the time needed to flip each of the foods. It's been about seven to eight minutes for the hamburger, as well as about 10 minutes for the beef stew and chicken. So we're just going to flip it over as Chris is doing right now. Again, we've planned this so the food would go on and be finished at about the same time. So we're doing the foods that take the longest first and the foods that take the shortest amount of time last. So it looks like the food's cooking pretty well. What we're going to add next is some corn. So we have two ears of corn that we're going to put on. Each one is going to go on for about 10 minutes. After we put the corn on, we're going to add some fish. Now these are small pieces of fish, so it's going to be about three to five minutes on each side. If we had larger pieces of fish, it would be about 10 minutes on each side. It's been about five minutes, so we're going to flip the fish now. In about five more minutes, all the food should be about done. So now the food has been cooked through. We're just going to take it off one by one and place it on the table. So now it's been cooling for a few minutes. Let's let Mike open up the hamburger. It smells great. Next, we're gonna open up the corn. Chris is gonna open up the fish next. Oh, 
looks good.